Hello everybody, I am Nate Asher, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Scoured Sword HD. Oop, forgot the light. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead. Do this. So, if you remember last time we finished up. Finished up the uh, the Earth Temple, and in this episode we will be uh, progressing onward. Uh, excuse me, to the next. Actually, may as well use our amiibo while we have it. See how we do that. I think we gotta call on Phi. <laughs> Useful little thing. We turn it down like this. Brightness on this just a tad. Okay. All right, so while we're here, we might be able to get some goodies. I know one thing is we can catch some more bugs that we couldn't catch before. But we also might be able to do some side quests. See if Beetle's got anything. Well, wait, he just got something to say. Kukil's mother was calling for her like she was worried. I wonder what happened. Oh, well, we gotta visit Kukul's mother then. Oh, we ne we also need to look into uh, upgrading our items at the uh, bazaar. Adventure pouch at 600 rupees now. A life medal. 800? Gosh. Might not have enough for this stuff. Yeah. He's gonna get mad at us. Uh, oh, he's got something to say. Yes, my friend, I've got something new to show you. I was able to procure a small bomb bag. Nice. So, we can carry even more bombs. Much more reasonable, thank you. Alright, let's go, um... If we can fix our stuff. Upgrade. Uh 
Where are we? A dusk relic. Ornamental skull. More ornamental skulls. More ornamental skulls. Okay, we're gonna need to kill a lot of um Bacoblins. And these people are like they just throw it in your face whenever <laughs> Master James. Treasure chest like object is a relic of ancient times left by the guys for a chosen hero. It would appear that each chest responds to the energy released when a specific goddess cube is launched skyward, releasing its lock me mechanism. Okay. This one's still locked. Who killed the mother? Is that freaking cat? Yeah, I remember you. Supposed to be a guy right there. Well, let's see. It's like the shirt. Oh gosh. I just want to see something funny and peek in people's stuff. You really shouldn't open other people's covers without permission. Link's so nice.
Where is this chick's house, man? I thought it was over here. You need the dust. So after you go in their house once, I guess like it tells you who lives there. And I can turn around. Ocean shop owner Birdie's house. Crab shop owner Gondo. And it kind of tells you like, have I been in this house before? Strike it off. Ah! You guys saw that, right? Did we get that on camera. I'm playing in the pumpkins. <laughs> Go in every single house. In the entire place <laughs> until you find the right one. That's that's the game. Fun, fun. I'm so tired of going in houses. Look how small this house is. Trees. Oh, hey, there's a thing up here. I can get Where is it? Oh, it's in this thing. Uh -oh. Um where Oh, it's 
this how? I went in here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. How do I get it to be night? We definitely need some more ornamental skulls so we can upgrade our staff though. Also there should be something in here. Thinking of that, there's a pizza heart. Hey. Mm. All right. Well, I guess we'll check on that later. <laughs> right now, I can. Oh. Kukio, Kukio, look at that child of gone. Oh, Kukio, where did you go? Oh, I do. She's been kidnapped. Oh, James. What perfect timing! You haven't seen my Kukio, have you? No. I see. Please, James, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere. I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, but a few people said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried up by a monster. A monster. She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. Thank you, girl, please. Please, it breaks hard to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, James, you got it. Thank you, the Nine Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please find my daughter quickly. Hey. Um, you remember all those graves that I was like pushing over for no reason? Well, it wasn't for no reason. Uh, so it wants me to fly to the lump, lumpy pumpkin. I'm gonna see if I can do it without doing that. Uh, I guess we gotta go on this whole quest. I thought that I could just like use my knowledge of the game to shortcut it. That's the thing about Scoured Sword is it's very linear. Alright, the lumpy pumpkin. And we got some chests to collect anyway. A lot of them. So let's head towards this one first. And I will see you guys when we get there. Alright, so I'm here. Forgot to unpause, you guys missed my incredibly graceful landing. <laughs>
Heck yeah. Got another seed satchel. And if your item is full, it just goes back to item check. So you see, we actually have another chest. But it looks like we need to... We need something. Let me get my thing calibrated. We need something that we can hook onto and lower ourselves down. Hmm. Anyway. Dude, look at this big thing. This is fun. Yeah, holy. <coughs> Excuse me. Step right up, boy. Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. A little. Yes. Just the answer I was looking for. What a smart little guy you are. What's his name, Dodo? I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy. What's it called, you ask? Or even if you didn't ask, I call it Fun Fun Island. Oh, well, I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You may, might like what you find, especially if you like fun and color. I like fun. Colors, I'm um, on the fence about. Take it or leave it, you know. Okay. Wrong button. Boop. So we can take that. Alright. You just want to knock out all these? I guess we can. We're only going to find more. Uh, I will see you guys way over there. Alright, well, we are already done here, so we're going to go ahead and stop off at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Woo! Yeah, Lumpy Pumpkin, let's go. Style points for the stem. Heck yeah. Shh, don't tell anyone. I love that. I'm actually going to get a tattoo pretty soon. It's going to be on my wrist that says it's dangerous to go alone. But I'll show you guys that whenever I get that. But I'm going to get something else um, that says it's a secret to everyone. Alright, let's talk to this old guy. He's our... Hey James, want to hear some worthwhile information? Ever come across those big rocks with holes while you're out flying? Well there's a mysterious power or a vortex or something in them. If you fly through it, you'll get a temporary boost of speed. Field bird riders use this trick to get across that big sky quickly. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I'm a skilled bird rider? Okay. <laughs> 
Why would you do that? Get down and come that come here this isn't. Dude, I owe Gonna make a terrible mess of things, haven't you? Well, now you're gonna be in a world of trouble. Uh -huh. This one of the heart. Ooh, heart. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I will be back to um, atone for my actions later. <laughs> I'm back to accept the consequences of my actions. Oh no, you've done it now. There's no escaping this one. Wait, are you? You're a guy. Um, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Do you think he? Never mind. We're not getting into that. <laughs> Don't even pretend that was an accident. I put signs up there to warn people to be careful of the chandelier and everything. Well, I wash my hands of the whole thing. Don't be surprised if my dad gives you a royal chewing out. Oh no, dude. That's your dad? You're hot. What was I thinking? Hey, look, you're the old guy I need to talk to. What were you thinking? You scared me. You're off my life. What do you want again? I lost my train of thought. You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? You the Skyrim monster? Are you talking about dragons? Shouldn't even call it a monster. Because it's a dragon, right? The demon, I tell you, I'm butchering this. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, no one can say for sure because, dude, for sure they wrote for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Why, huh? You wanna know how come I'm telling the tale if no one who's seen it is left alive? Is that it? Yeah, well, I saw it. But I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. Monster then went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. <laughs> it was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. And definitely don't go hitting on that gravestone nearest to the tree and then push on it, opening the, the hatch over there. Don't do none of that nonsense. I am bound. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't be talking to you from behind the counter. That's, that's a little... Yeah, I need to go to the counter. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? No way. What did you just say? You got some nerve coming in here, busting up my chandelier, and thinking you can get away with it. Oh. 
Are you ready to start paying off that chandelier? That's right, and I'm gonna hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis, Skylop's Night Commander. The Night Commander's a regular here. Says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Night Commander? Ah, uh, we'll have to wait. Hey, a man's word is his honor. I need you to deliver this soup to the Night Commander. Got it? I said wait. Fine. <laughs> oh no, no, empty bottle. <laughs> I can't do it. Sorry. Alright, guys. <laughs> That's where the episode is going to end. Uh, in the next one, we will uh, go ahead and uh, fix for the chandelier that we broke. That I broke. And, <laughs> um, and then we'll be finding what, out what happened to Kukio. And, uh, yeah, see what that uh, that demon's all about. So I think it's a Skyrim dragon. That's my. Opinion. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. I really do appreciate that. It makes me it makes me happy. And subscribe if you're not. Uh, you can t tell if you're not because gray is good and red's bad. Okay, so. You look down and and the subscribe button looks all red just gray that out for me just just click it make sure it's gray gray's good guys gray's good okay anyways i will see you guys in the next one until then i've been a asher